So that's the soul food place you you've been telling me about. Twenty yeah, second Street, yeah. right? Okay, yeah, I gotta check them out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but basically, every it, listen, I didn't know what was going on. I just kept on seeing people on um, social media, Instagram, Facebook, talking about oh, that's some nut ass shit. The boy, she got her son, you know, for her, her send off for the prime, a camel, three different dates. And three different foreign cars. Right, it was a Dubai send off. It was a Dubai, so he couldn't make it to Dubai, so she brought Dubai here. So it was a lot of negative. I mean, negative. It was Hold so up. ignorant. Before, before you, now you said it was a a Dubai send off, right? right? Now right. they're Muslim, right? Right. Okay. Right. I just got to ask because you know people got Muslim names in Philly and they're not Muslim, right. you know, but yes, such as myself. You know. Right. Yes, they are Muslim and. You know, that's what she wanted to give her son. A straight-A student, scholarship to college. Good guy. Good guy. Why not? Shit, I'll do something like that, too, if I can afford it. And I think that was the problem, that people were hating because they couldn't afford what she did. And that was the most original thing that anyone has ever done in Philly. Okay? I ain't never seen nothing like it. Okay? If I had on a wig, I'd take it off and, and bow down to it. Okay, that was some very, very optimistic and thorough. Can't even get the next word yeah, out, but yeah, that was just she awesome. Did for son. It was awesome. Yeah. Okay, and I seen a clip of the video. You know, I seen people making memes about it, trying to clown them. Yeah, but from what I've been reading, because it, it actually made um, some type of Philadelphia publication, and I read a little bit of the article. CBS I might have sent it to you, yeah. but. They were saying that she was playing this for two years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She was playing this for two years. Right. And I read that she not only has her own business, she has a few properties. Yeah. Like, this is a, a, a... And she has a mentorship program for um, people that's, you know, young and into business and want to eventually have their own business. Mm -hmm. So... She doing the thing, yo. She's on the ball. You know what I'm saying? She's she doing the thing, yeah. yo. Now, that's that's a black woman that needs to be on reality show because that is reality. She's doing the thing in a positive way, okay? And instead of um, downing this woman, everyone should have been giving praise, especially in Philly. And there was a lot of people in Philly hating on this woman. And I really feel some type of way. Like, it's just corny. It's real corny. And it, and it, and it, and it shows the immaturity. And the self-hatred with a lot of people with themselves, they're not happy with them damn selves. So they got to find somebody to hate on instead of looking in the mirror and looking at your dumb ass self. Yeah. That's what you need and to and you know, it's great. I was also reading that she recently um, had got diagnosed with cancer. She she fought off cancer. She And they said she was playing for two years because she didn't even know if she, she was going to be around. Here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's, right. and it's crazy. That... That goes to show you the ignorance. people just naturally want to hate. That's, That's just right. the hate. They just want to. They happy to hate. This That's motherfuckers right. is happy to hate on you, yo. Right. And it's crazy. And people don't even read. No. They just seen the shit. Oh, yeah. they some fucking fools. They some clowns. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm going to tell you something. The crazy thing is somebody posted, the, the first person that posted it, I ain't know what was going on. Because the way they was wording shit. So, I'm seeing this. I comment on John. So, me. I said, listen, what fool is this? Because I don't know what the, what's going on. I'm just really just irritated now because I'm just scrolling my news. You know, my timeline. I'm seeing all this. They talking all this hate about. So, I said, you know what? Let me look up the story. I look at the story and I said, yo, this is good. This is... this is." And I heard... Um, I don't know how Trudy says. They said she's going to be on... Um, Fox Morning News, uh, Good Day, yeah, something like that. that. Yeah, yeah, she's supposed to be on there either tomorrow or sometime this week. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because awesome. it's an inspiration. Right. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's a hell of a story. Yeah, and she she don't she. Listen, yo, it's a success Here's story. The thing. Here's Real the talk. thing: she's honoring her son. That's not a loser. That's not on the corner selling drugs. That's been in school faithfully. That's going to college to better himself, to do things like his mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a hell of a gentleman. She's a hell of a, a mother, a woman for doing that, okay? She's not burying her son, okay? So, I guess if she was burying her son and she did something extravagant like that, young motherfuckers would still have something to say about that. And, you know, just shut the hell and, up, man. And I heard she doing it alone. 
Yeah. You don't even have like the father's not in, in right. his life. I bet you he's throwing he, everything I bet you, alone. I bet you she he wish she was there now. Yeah. 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 You know, like you said, yo, it's too much of the, the glorified, you know, the drug dealing and all that shit and you know, like you know, these jokers, he's this this guy. He got it going on. He got it going on. Straight A's, he's going to college. He's going places. You know what I'm saying? He, he's not gonna be here fucking up the block being a terrorist, like yeah. he said earlier, and how, not being saluted for that bullshit. And how about this, Ms. 100? How about not only that? Um, she didn't start a GoFund page, okay? She didn't ask nobody for not a damn cent. Nobody, okay? Nobody in Philly that was hating on her. She asked nobody for nothing. So I understand why it was just so much hate. That was another problem, okay? Um, the other situation was, um, what? that <laughs> I just lost train of thought because yeah, I was just, much. I was just, I was just so raged over it yeah. because I couldn't believe it, you know, and we, like we supposed to be known as Philly love, you know, it was no love there. It was just yeah, all brotherly hatred, love brotherly love, yeah, brotherly no love, brotherly love, Philly love. No, it was just all self-hatred. And you can't have nothing nice because in a couple of episodes that we've done previously, I said you will get killed if you have your own business and they see you blowing up. Cause a lot of a lot of people around here that had their own businesses. May they rest in peace. Sad. You know what I'm saying? You know what These saying? knuckleheads get hired up and, 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 and just was in your store maybe two, three hours before they done blew your damn head off. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And this this story nicely transitions into our topic of the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know why do we hate on each other? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I like I'm gonna just say this. You know, I'm led to believe people just don't like being happy. You know what I'm saying? You know, people don't even like smiling. Yo, when you smiling, you know it's considered that you a sucker. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is. You got mm-hmm. oh damn boy. Well, you a female. You know what I'm saying? But no, I get you know, that. yeah, I get that. Oh, you're smiling. Oh, you know, boy, boy, sweet. Yeah. Motherfucker, he Joe ass dude. You know That's what I'm right. saying? That's nah, right. like how can how come I can't just be happy about life? I can be happy that I, that God bless me for living. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta walk around with the ice grill all the right. time. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm not a tough dude. You know what I mean? I ain't no nut, but I ain't no tough ass goon. Right. That shit, that life is dead, yo. You ain't going nowhere claim, claiming that you a goon. You know what I mean, Definitely. and and spreading all that nev- neg- negativity, and it's, it's not nothing. Nothing comes out of that. You know what I mean. But that's what I'm saying. Like people just, you know, they just love to naturally look down on somebody, and they love it when that person is down. Mm-hmm. Damn, remember when such and such was up? He had the such and such. He had this. He had the house. He had the girl. He had the car. Man, fuck that nigga, yo. He he look a smoker now. Yeah. They can have a a, a, a hour discussion, mm-hmm. conversation on this everything about this man's downfall. Right. But a- let him be up and smiling and hey, what's up, this and that. They get the zipper mouth. Yeah. No, they nothing. don't get the zipper mouth. What you mean? No, they don't say nothing. No, they do. You know what I'm saying? No, behind your back. Oh, behind yeah, yeah, behind, behind your yeah, back okay, they okay, talk. Okay, you know what I'm saying? They go on this nut ass social media and talk about it. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? They do shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, they do. Oh, oh, oh. We forgot two more. Two oh, more. Jason. Oh, that boy yeah. and that boy. Yeah, we forgot about the LeBron situation. We got to touch oh, on that. Oh, yeah, 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 real yeah, yeah. Jason Whitlock. Yeah. Yeah, we do gotta touch on that. You yeah, know what I mean? before we get into it, we gotta we gotta backtrack, backtrack. Yeah, 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 backtrack, yeah, yeah, backtrack. Yeah, yeah. Let me, yeah, you right. You yeah, know what I mean? That was that was real crazy. Now, for the, I'm I'm sure everybody know by now about the boy Jason Whitlock. That's not the first time that he been saying some outrageous stuff on out on these uh, interviews on ESPN. And it's cool and shit. On his yeah, on Twitter and all that shit, but. Basically, what happened was LeBron House in California. He has it's vacant. Nobody's living there, or whatever. For now, you know LeBron doing this thing for the for the championship, whatever. But someone painted the word "nigger" onto um, his house. So this, you know, LeBron made a statement, you know, basically saying that. Um, 
it don't matter how rich or famous you are, it's still being tough, still tough being black in America, which I agree. Mm-hmm. It don't matter. No level of success. You can have the whitest friends hang with the, the you know, the top elite. They're still going to always do things to make you know that you're the nigger out of the crew. Real talk. You know, you could, you could separate yourself from the hood and all that thinking you came up. They going to always remind you you're a nigger in their eyes. You know what I'm saying? But for this dude, Jason Whitlock, <laughs> to come out and say with LeBron, his statement is a lie. And, you know, this was his direct words. He said, it's, it's, it's not tough being Oprah Winfrey. It's not tough being LeBron James. It's not tough being Jason Whitlock. Basically, he said, racism only affects people of poverty, you know, which that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's is total bullshit, yo. I'm starting to think that them, these kind of guys are implanted. They implant it. You know what I'm saying? I think they implant these these jokers into the social media, you know, platforms, interview them, and just give them a couple of, you know, donuts and and money. Like, yo, this is, you know, go ahead. This is what you say. They've been around for centuries. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, coons. Straight up coons. But I just, I want to say this. How could he say that about Oprah Winfrey? But remember some years ago when Oprah Winfrey was out there, what, California? LA, but she went to a store trying to get a pocketbook. Okay, so it's not hard being who, not being what. He's smoking some K (laughs) two. Look, as long as you got this skin, you know, as long as you got this melanin in your skin, whether you chocolate, you know, light skin, it don't matter. You know, I remember when I was younger, you know, people used to be like, oh damn. You light skin, you don't have the problems that I had because I'm dark skin. That's bullshit. You know, I probably face some of the most racism. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Amongst people I know that's that's dark skin. And I can, I got day I got stories for days about the racism that I went through. It don't matter. Like I lived in an all white neighborhood. And that wasn't nice. You know, especially at nighttime. Don't get caught up in the nighttime. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that you're gonna deal with the cops. You're gonna deal with. Uh, now I'm gonna tell you about white people. What they do is they come at they come at you in packs. Mm-hmm. They, you know, when they by themselves, they they quiet. But right. let them let it be a, a a full car of them, and they juiced up on their steroids and they beer. Yo, them motherfuckers jump out on you. They'll lift a car up on your ass, yo. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, yo. I, I've been in those situations. But, you know, with my background, when I came from the hood and all that, like, it, it was nothing to me. You know, I was I was prepared. You know, and that's the key thing. You, you got to be aware of these things. You got to see it before it even happened. You know what I'm saying? Racism is going nowhere. It's going to... Stay around just as just like the roaches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just like roaches and bacteria, racism is never dying in America. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, yo. I mean, you want to move on to the um the Bill Maher yeah, thing? Yeah, let's talk about you know, Bill Maher. That, Bill Maher. That case. Yeah, like you said, it's they 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 just they just feel more freely now just to be open about it. Ever since that nutcase got in office, you know, they just feel as though yeah. that you know. Because of his ignorance and a lot of statements and comments that he has made, that it just opened up the floodgates. Just, hey, just you can say whatever you want to say, and nothing's gonna, you know, you know, stand like as far as um people of color anymore. Like it's just almost going back to the Jim Crow days, you know, where they can literally call you a nigger and spit in your face and beat your ass, and you know, it's just it's like history is repeating itself. You know, but I'll tell you this much. <laughs> I just pray and hope to God that I just never have to encounter that. You know, and I, my heart goes out to the ones that are going through that and has been through that. But the day motherfucker think they gonna spit in my face and call me a nigga and they gonna walk away. You wanna yeah. 
You already know. You know what I'm saying?